some very interesting finds in Antarctica have brought me to look at certain things that especially certain verses in the Bible that actually could correlate with certain things in Antarctica and I've shown some of this before well I've shown some other things before to connect some of these things but there's something very strange that I'm going to show y'all in Antarctica but first I'm going to have to explain who Azazel is um, sometimes it, it said Azazel or it just depends but um, most people say Azazel I believe and he was in he's actually in the Bible he's spoken of in Leviticus uh, I guess it's over there let me look it up so in Leviticus and then also spoken very prominently in the book of Enoch now I understand that the book of Enoch is not considered inspired but something that most people don't know is that the book of Ezekiel was actually fought over if they wanted to actually keep it in the Bible not because they didn't feel that it was inspired but because uh, it was mainly the Jewish they didn't want to keep it in the Torah which is you know the Old Testament and whatever their reasons are they didn't maybe they didn't want us to know certain things or they thought it would confuse people whatever but so I'm by no means saying that the book of Enoch should be held up over any other passage and it doesn't contradict any other you know any books of the Bible but it is something that's interesting especially when you're looking at history and so I mean use it like a, a historical text but especially when you're looking into Antarctica and this is something that people especially people that argue the creation against evolution argument and all of that which you know I, I absolutely don't believe that we evolved from any type of uh, monkey or anything but I also don't exactly agree with the 6,000 years I believe it's much less than millions of millions but that either way it doesn't matter neither here nor there but this is something that people on the creationist side need to start looking at and especially just get in front of you know what I mean like you would rather at least have this in your back pocket to you know because when this stuff does finally come uh, to the surface I guess you could say when they start actually telling the truth about what's in Antarctica especially as much as the melt is occurring you know they're gonna make their own story they're gonna say oh see there's there's proof of this this and that they'll make their whatever they want that's what they've done with a lot of things but let me show y'all one thing that I'm talking about that I mean this is something that needs to be spoken of at least you know from the creationist side to where the evolutionary side scientists authorities don't grab a hold to this and spin it however they want okay because a lot of us you know people that already watch my channel they know what this is you know it's as in the days of Noah there were giants that roamed the, the earth and these can't be explained away when they finally do tell us the truth about these if you don't see this this is a giant skull and this is not the only one that we have found and if you look it's actually you can it very well could be like the entire skeleton right here but um, I can't say that for sure but this is beyond deny I mean you can't deny this it's absolutely a skull uh, the eyes the nose right here and let me show you all the newest one and this one is 
huge. I mean, that one's huge, but this one is enormous. You see it? And it's more of elongated. But I'm going to show y'all how, how long this thing is, y'all. It is crazy. Let me just get, like, from the forehead, like, the top of the forehead to the jaw. 46 foot. 46 foot. Think about that. So, like, if my head is, like, a foot, you know, my hand's, like, six inches. <laughs> six. So, like, ten. So, ten inches, and I'm five foot two. So, let's say per one, one foot of your body. So, this thing had, was, like, 50 foot tall. Let's even say 40. Let's say 30. Say whatever you want. This is enormous. This is enormous. The other one, and, and I have a few others, but um, these are just, I don't have like a 4K screen, and so some of them aren't as, aren't as easy to see. But, I mean, this is, this is beyond, undeni you know, it's just undeniable. Okay, so from the forehead, hold on, I messed that up. Right here, to the jaw line right there. Oh wait, this is just as big. <laughs> what? I, no. Is this just as big? I think this one's a little bit smeared. Let me see. Let's just go from here. Oh, it is. It's 44 foot. So, they were all about the same. Uh, wow. I was thinking this one was 25. I don't know where I got that from. I haven't looked at this in a while. But, you know, th these things are going to have to be explained. And the scientists are going to love this, you know. I mean, it's amazing anyway. But they're going to love to try to twist, twist this narrative into whatever they want. But whenever we look at the Book of Enoch and we look even at Genesis 6 um, and all of these other, even in Leviticus and certain other books, you will see information about these things, but it's often considered a parable or it's considered, you know, maybe it was a vision and they were just over-exaggerating or whatever. Um, but as we can see, these things that they saw were actually around. Um, am I saying they went to Antarctica? Well, no, I'm not saying that. Could they have? Maybe. Maybe God took them there. I, I don't know. But I do believe, and I'm going to get back to Azazel and why, but um, I don't want to lose <laughs> anybody. Like, I don't want anybody being confused already right out the gate. Um, this area, not this area. Let me see. This er this is, whew, this is, this is pretty scary, y'all. Actually, Florida McKee showed this the other day. And I don't think anybody picked up what it was. And this is just my opinion. So, there's something here. But that's not what um, I'm looking at. We're looking at these glowing eyes right here. And when I tell when I show y'all where we are, that's what's gonna be very creepy. So you see these glowing eyes, and you can see them from we're 238 foot up in elevation. You can see these two almost like alligator shaped, you know, like the almond shaped eyes. Look right there. And you could see like a, some form of a body. Um, so now let me show you where we are in Antarctica. And what's weird is there's so much stuff here. Praying statue, uh, a person with a shield. 
whether this is art or what, I mean, it's here. And there's no, no denying that these things are here. So, sorry. It's kind of, okay, right here. You see the person's head holding a shield and they're walking. And then, I, the reason I think this could be an actual person walking is because of this. When you flip it around, it's like you have the reverse of it. But, you know, maybe that could be some sort of art. I, I don't know. But you see right here, it's the head and then something. So actually, yeah, I don't know if that's, yeah, that's not the exact reverse of it. So it could be two people. It could just be statues. And these, here's just like a random shark. I mean, it, I don't know what it is. It's just to me, it looks like a shark. So uh, I put shark on it. Goodness. So whether these were, you know, statues you see right here, the, the fin, and it just looks like a shark. I mean, it totally could be something else. And I'm going to try to, I mean, this technically looks like a head of something. So this might be an eye hole. But that this thing would be huge. But it wouldn't be the first dinosaur we've found down here. But the thing is, all of these things right here, in this praying statue right here, this doesn't mean that it's praying to God. It's a statue that is pre in a praying um, stance. You know, it's, let me see. I know some people are like, what? This is crazy. It's just wind ice, wind ice, rock and snow, right? Come on. Some of these are really hard to see. So you have to get just the right angle. I don't remember how I had this thing. Let me see. Okay, we'll look at this later. But it, it's like someone, you know, kneeling and praying. And then we have all of these shadows that don't have anything to cast these shadows. Like as if there's, there's things that they're covering up. But the things that I want y'all to focus on are this red, this yellow, red and yellow everywhere as if it's fire. Okay, and whenever I get to Ezekiel's vision, we're going to see exactly this. Okay, now let me show you where, where we are. We are in Denman Glacier. Okay. Oh, this is another aspect of it. Okay. So the deepest point in the world on land, they just found, um, supposedly they just found this, right, um, last mo uh, two months ago in December of 2019, researchers found an abyss, an abyss, where have I heard that word before? Huh. <laughs> I don't know, I don't, I don't know. An abyss below Denman Glacier, located 3.5 kilometers below sea level, just below the depth of the ocean trench. Y'all realize how deep that is? This is the deepest place on Earth. Hmm. And, an, and it's considered an abyss in the deepest place on Earth? Huh. Weird. The researchers found an abyss below the Denman Glacier. They just said that. This thing is so deep that 
it, it's actually like you could put, I mean, it's not as wide, but it is as tall if you're at the bottom of it as Mount Everest. It's huge. I mean, deep. And they have collected temperatures there at, of like 60 and 70 degrees, like t-shirt weather. Let me see. So they did this with their, with, they found this when they did the new bedrocking map, the bed, the bed map. I showed that in a different video, but I just wanted to show y'all that how interesting abyss in Denman. Denman, demon, Denman, demon, Denman, 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 huh, what could be, what could be, what could that be, what could that be, could that be what we have heard for so many years about, is that the place that we have been told of? as the pits of hell. I, I don't know. Is it actually here on earth? And not maybe not even that, but you know, we have in especially in the book of Enoch, it speaks of Azazel being chained up. Him and the other fallen angels being chained up in an abyss or in the darkest I forget the actual wording. I think I have it on here but in the the deepest darkest place on earth the fallen angels is what they're they call them right well it's very interesting because that's exactly where we just found these glowing eyes so was this demon denman is this Azazel or one of the other? See, it's hard. It's hard to, you know, there's fallen angels. People think that angels and demons are different. The only thing different between angel and demon is their location, their zip code. Angel meaning from the air. Demon meaning from the earth, essentially. And... You know, we always think of angels as, you know, in white and shimmery and they're the nice ones and then the demons are the mean ones when it's not exactly like that. I mean, I don't know just from what I do know. It's not exactly like that. So does this mean, I mean, is like, I would assume if this thing was chained up for thousands of years that he's not one of the good ones. And I'm not saying it is Azazel. I'm just saying this is an interesting aspect when you consider that, you know, Azazel is in the Bible. Um, and then it's in the Book of Enoch and other Jewish sources. And Azazel actually could, could also be um, what we consider... What is that? Um, the, um, oh gracious, the Baphomet. And you know, if you think about that, if it's really, or you know, maybe they're, even if they were like very similar, that would make sense as to why we have so many high level people randomly visiting Antarctica all the time on these emergency visits. You know, is is this really the person or these these people are? Is this who they are actually? You know, when we say they sold their soul to the devil or you know they worship, you know, we say Satan or whatever. Is it really like Satan, Lucifer? It, you know, or is it these folks, Azazel and Az and? Uh, what's the other one's name? Uh, Shimjaza and these other ones. I actually <laughs> searched for Azazel on YouTube. <laughs> and there are people that actually, you know how we get saved and stuff? Well, well, Christians, uh, what we do, they actually 
do that, but to get Azazel. So, like, legitimate AZ. I think I spelled that wrong. Um, rituals. It's pretty scary. And they feel that he gives them powers, and so they're, they're essentially possessed. <laughs> I'll just put it like that. Um, and, you know, they think that, oh, he, he's amazing. They're, I was reading some comments of these people, and, and they're, they're all into this. Like, they, they allow demon possession, I mean, but they don't consider it demon. And see, that's where, where people get um, messed up. Even if you think that Azazel is, oh, he's not a bad one. You know, he just helped people learn about... And that's what it says in the Book of Enoch, that he taught man how to make swords and things like that. And the other fallen angels taught um, humans how to do astrology and astronomy and all of these things. And this also is something that many of us have made the allegation as to where we get our technology is from here. I know some people are like, that's crazy. That's crazy. But, nah, not really. Not really. Because we can find so many of these Tic Tac crafts. Now, why would there be so many Tic Tac crafts that we think are from another planet? They're not from another planet, they're from Antarctica. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Oh, dang. Is he... Is he gone? Why are they hiding it? Well, you can see it in my other videos. What? What? I guess they did an update. What? That's crazy. I have other ones. Hold on. Let me show y'all. That's really messed up. Oh, Tic Tac. The meaning of Tic Tac, for those who don't know what it means, which most people don't. They just think it's because it, it looks like a Tic Tac. It means temperature, inertia, control, tactical attack, craft. I mean, maybe. Maybe not. There, there's other people that are, there's especially a, one big channel on here that supposedly has some inside sources that speaks about Antarctica and, and whatnot. She has tons of followers, but she's never shown any of this. She's never even found any of this. Um, she has this supposed secret sources and whatnot. And they make the allegation that these things come from Mars or something. And I thought she was legit at first. I was like, oh, wow, maybe she's legit, you know? I have sources, but, I mean, I don't make them look like super secret soldiers or anything. But I sent her this information, and... She didn't reply to me, and then I went to her channel, and I was talking, you know, in her super chats, and my super chat was denied. I was like, oh, I see what's going on here, and I, I started to put it all together. Her deal, and maybe she's not doing it on purpose, whatever, but her deal is to essentially lead people to the whole cosmos of things essentially away from Christianity because people think that these things can't be at the same time. There's a lot of people that refuse to uh, admit that these things could happen at the same time when, in fact, you know, of course they can. Of course they absolutely can. Uh, and I know many of my viewers already understand that. But... I know I'm kind of being random, but I want people to kind of understand let's see what I'm talking about because this stuff it it's a big deal. Like this is stuff that because this is melting quite rapidly 
And these are pictures we have from supposedly, Google says 2011, but, oh, actually this one says 2004. I don't know how much this can be trusted and I don't want to have, if you have, if you write a comment about you can't trust NASA, you can't trust Google images, it's all fake, blah, 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 I will delete your comment. I'm, I'm going to be straight up honest because it, it's just, it, it's silly. It's silly. Do our government agencies lie about things? Yes, of course they do. But what you need to understand is these things weren't originally created for civilians. This was created for the military. And they never, it didn't even cross their mind that one day people would have like these high resolution just uh, computers or screens or whatever that would, they would even be able to find these things. So it's not like, oh yeah, like they just let the, pop the public just find these things. Well, it's not that they're just letting us, they had to take these pictures and they had to upload them but they didn't think that anybody was going to look at them. And if you look at it, nobody is looking at them. All the big channels will not put this stuff out. None of them. These UFO channels, these Antarctica supposedly, all the, go look at them. These channels that have 300,000 subs, a million subs, where, they will never put this information out. They won't do it. Why is that? So it's not as if Google is just, oh yeah, they're just putting this stuff out to fool you. Well, if that were the case, wouldn't these big compromised channels show us this stuff? But they don't. And they won't. Because it, <laughs> they don't want you to see this. And as long as it's only small channels like mine and like Florida McKees and these other channels that are quite small in comparison, then it doesn't matter because not many people see this stuff. They're like, okay, well, whatever. I mean, how many views on my video that I sh probably one of the most important videos I've ever done that shows that Antarctica was likely still connected to South America until the late 1600s and didn't completely freeze over until only a few hundred years ago or maybe maybe a couple thousand years ago but I think it was hundreds, but I showed all the maps to prove it and all of this stuff. That video only has like 5,000 views. And that was like six months ago. And not only that, but you know, the, I mean, as you can see, all of these things that, not, not just that, I have stuff and there's stuff that's not even checked. All of this stuff, 20 pyramids, um, crafts, all of these things. So it's not like they're they're putting this out there to fool us. They're, put it, they're putting it out there because they already had it out there. And they just didn't think we were going to have the technology. They just didn't think about it like that to find these things. It, they don't think that people are going to waste their time to do it either. And then when they do, they just suppress us. I mean, we can see that with our videos. As soon as these videos... You know, it's like a straight line going up and then bam, there's like, it like hits a wall. So unless you're like sharing it with people, people, not many people are going to see it. It's just how it is. So I just don't want to hear any of that Google images nonsense. I don't. And, and flat earth either. Um, I'm not going to get into that, but you can search my videos about Bible verses and flat earth and how it absolutely does not say any so sort of thing. Okay, that was a rant that was just useless. Anyway, this seems to be some sort of demon being unchained. Uh, let me see what, what verse it was. So, you know, it speaks of, Leviticus speaks of Azazel kind of being the scapegoat. Let me see. Sorry. I had all this stuff together, but then I kind of went on that rant. Okay, so Leviticus 16.10. 
the goat, which has been designated by lot for Azazel, is to be stood alive before the Lord to make atonement on it by sending it away to Azazel in the wilderness. So it says wilderness in this, um, I'm not sure if it says wilderness in all of them, but so anyway, it, it goes on and on. You can look into this. And Azazel apparently was maybe one of the leaders of the fallen angels. And then they did, you know, taught men how to make swords and uh, astronomy and astrology. But then they started getting out of control and started sleeping with human women. And that's where the Nephilim, the giants, and things like that came from. For those who don't know. I'm sure many people watching this already know that. And. You know. Being that we found this glowing eye creepy situation. In this same spot. That's called Denman Glacier. That even the media. Or you know. Whoever the science. This is a science channel. Uh, website. Calls an abyss. It's. It is just um, hard to deny. It's hard to deny. But when we look at Ezekiel, Ezekiel's visions, he speaks of a place with dry bones. And there is a place in Antarctica called McMurdo's Dry Valleys, and there's all of these dry carcasses. And we have found many skull, uh, skulls. And so if we're finding skulls, you know, there's a lot more. Because these are just ones that are huge. And we have, let me see, there's places. Graveyard. It, it like just looks like a total graveyard. And who was it? Neil Armstrong? Not, but what, Father Talter? One of them said that when they flew over Antarctica, they were like, it's evil. It's evil. Admiral Byrd said things like that. I mean, so it's not just ice, wind, rock, and snow. So there's, and this connects with Easter Island, but I'm not going to go into all that. But, but there's a lot of things, you know, like this tomb over here. And of course, most of us know about Ezekiel's will within a will. Which could have been a craft. Could have very well been a craft. But, uh, oh, here we go. I can't even see it anymore. I think they've updated this stuff. Dang it. Oh, here's another skull. And look at that one. Um, but, is, uh, let me see. Ezekiel al also talks about torches and seeing things that look like light, like fire, uh, in an amber color. And that's why I wanted y'all to look at this. Um, I don't know why that skull's not there. It's crazy. Anyway. But... It not only speaks of that, but it speaks of torches. You know, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 1 through... Let me see. 1 has a lot of the information. So it talks about the torches. And that's... Is that gone too? What the heck? Are you kidding me? No way. Maybe it's, okay, good. Maybe it's just my computer freaking out. But there's some very interesting, all these things just add up. Why can't I see the torches? This is weird. 10-7-2012. Um, 
see this large torch right here and then as you look at this all of these it's like they were ha they had a whole lining of torches and this is like some type of pathway and this isn't far from where those glowing eyes are so on 10 10 7 October 7th it was Heinrich Hindler is that how you say it Heinrich Hindler's birthday so somebody's down here celebrating it of sorts I mean he's dead but you know from the Nazi party <clears throat> All right, well, I, I think I'll just stop right there. My boys are acting crazy. But um, I just wanted to give y'all, just kind of go over some of those things, and then we'll go into more detail about that. But it's just very... Boys! Stop. Yes, put on your pants. Can you... can't that Oh, I want to show y'all one more thing because this goes with all of this. This eagle. Or something. You see that? It's like the eagle wings when they're up like that. And then right here. Let me show y'all what I'm talking about. Okay, I'll show it to y'all later. Bye, guys. Y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe.